be a terribly depressing old thing. Today, our great depression is one of the mind. A sickness that doesn't manifest itself physically. Everyone searching for answers to the question that is their own lives. And their lives they know just a constant retelling of cliches. And we've learnt the greatest cliche the higher you climb, the farther you will fall. So now we are underachievers too afraid of failing or losing, living with our heads barely above water. And who are these two? These vessels of life. He says his name is James. This is his friend, Rich. And they will take us through a journey of life. So here we are in a bathroom, a place of reflection upon yourself. What do you see in the mirror, James? Tell us what is on your mind. You ever wonder who the first guy to ever start brushing his teeth was? It really bugs. Why don't they start brushing their teeth? You know? I'm talking cavemen, right? They go around with their cocks out, killing animals, eating shit. And that shit in their teeth, it probably really, really fucked them up in the long run. Dentists, there are no dentists back then. What they do? Probably start eating berries, because that don't mess their teeth up. It comes to the world of vegetarians, which I'm cool with, but it's not for the right reasons. They're coming up with lies saying, oh, it's savage to kill animals, let's eat berries. Because they're scared to fuck their teeth up. The world becomes a sheep, one follows the next. One of these days, I'm going to quit brushing my teeth. It's thanks to people like that, we have the hybrid car. I'm going to quit brushing my teeth in protest. That's what I'm going to do. In open wounds and catacombs of life without restrictions, cut open and distorted, bleeding love with. Commitment. 
faster it grows The more I know The freedom of the lies So honestly Now me and Rich, we go back some way in time, as far back as I can remember in fact. He's just always around, you know, Rich is like the air. He's just there. He said I'd like to come around later today and saw that thing out for me. Listen to that, he talks about that thing. People would be like, what? What thing? What are you talking about? You know, specify. Me, I understand. Thing. Right, gotcha, let's do the thing. It's just weird, we have rituals like that. Things like... Like this. Sometimes Car park, throw a tennis ball around. It's kind of relaxing. People stop, people say stuff, they just give us stony looks. Don't really care, it's background noise. I'll tell you what though, it's kind of relaxing, I have to admit. And sometimes you just. Sometimes you just come to the beach and sit here, me and Rich. Talk about all kinds of stuff girls, aliens, movies, games. Sex, porn, all kinds of stuff, really. It's all good. I can tell him anything. Hey, I even tell him about my personal problems. I tell him about making a first impression, how important I think that is. How I act around people, you know? He thinks that's a joke. He looks at me and says, hey, you can die in your sleep, you don't really care. He told me that. It sounds weird, but it sounds kind of comforting to me. And it's good he thinks like that, because he's not fooling anyone. He's always saying about how none of us are special or anything. But people like everyone else, we should just accept it. It's hard to think like that. I think Rich is like, pretty well guarded against the world because of it. He doesn't let much get to him and he's pretty good at coming up with solutions. We're out walking around and he got a call from his girlfriend. So then she went left in there and there. What 